What's up guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. Today's video, we're gonna go through a junk removal client that um, we've been running the first 30 days. I think they started, actually not even 30 days. They started August 4th, Wednesday, August 4th, we turned them on. And today's August 27th, 26th. So not even a full 30 days yet. And we're going to go through the lead generation and uh, results they've gotten with us. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do case study videos like this all the time. And we also have lots of training videos. If you're a junk removal business and you want leads for your business and you want results like this, I'm about to walk you through something that's pretty amazing. And you're about to find out in a second. <clears throat> all right. So let's get right into it. Last 30 days, which was uh, July 27th to August 25th. Um, but in reality, they started August 4th, and today's not 25th, today's the 26th. So less than 30 days. You can see they have a healthy budget. These guys are running, I think, around the Atlanta area. Uh, we'll know in a minute. Um, and uh, these are kind of the insane results we've gotten just first month going. So they have a huge budget. And obviously, not everyone has a budget like this for junk marketing. If you are trying to get junk marketing leads, Via Google Ads, I do suggest that you run with a budget of at least $75 a day. Um, and that doesn't have to be every day. That's just five days a week, four days a week, whatever you, you can afford. But you can get results, good results with that kind of budget. So these guys came out of the gate swinging. They wanted leads. They wanted them in volume. And you're about to see the results they've gotten with that. So $291 a day budget Monday through Friday. In the first 30 days, they've gotten 4,626 impressions, 345 clicks. 7.46 percent click-through rate the average cost per click was fifteen dollars and sixty six cents in the first 30 days they've spent five thousand four hundred and three dollars and fifteen cents they've gotten a hundred and twenty two leads at a cost per lead of forty four dollars and twenty nine cents and the conversion rate is thirty five point three six percent conversion rate which is exactly where we want to be for junk we always want to try and be 25 and over so we're extremely happy with 35 we are running target CPA bidding strategy. We start the campaigns out on maximize, one second, maximize clicks, and we get some conversion data, usually about 25 leads, and then I'll flip the switch over to target CPA. And um, $44 is kind of sweet spot for junk removal, anywhere between really, anywhere really, it depends on the market though, and the budget, but anywhere between $27 to $50 is what, Usually junk leads come in at, and again, that totally depends on the budget and the market that the client's in. So if we go into conversion actions, I'm going to show you exactly what we're tracking. These are just calls and form submissions. All right, so if we just do our conversion actions for the campaign, there is a few other things in here from location extensions and all kinds of stuff. So our conversion actions are phone call. Right, so phone call conversion action is somebody who clicks our ad, goes to the landing page, and calls one of the phone numbers on the page. They're all call tracking numbers, so we know exactly where the calls came from. So that was 62 phone, inbound phone calls from the campaign. And next down, we got contact form lead. And there was 25 contact form fills, and that is name, email address, tell us about the junk you need removed. I'm sorry, name, email, phone, tell us about the junk you need removed. And that's a uh, full contact form. So we got 25 of those. And then we got call extension lead. We've got 34 call extension calls. And that's just simply a tracking number that um, a tracking number that uh, is in our Google ad, right? So somebody just clicks right from the ad in the call. So those are what we're tracking. And you can see here, so there's a few other ones that came from the campaign too via the location extensions, but these are not something we're actively going after. They're just um, Google Maps stuff, like our location extension when that shows. So that's picked up a few as well. You can see those in here as well, maps and stuff like that. But the majority is phone calls. So if we go into the campaign, see here we have our target CPA set, 72. And that's high because we always try and shoot high. And then after 30 days is done, we'll start incrementally lowering that down between 5 and $8 a month till we get down to the sweet spot where we have low cost leads, but we don't crush the volume. And here's all our ad groups. You can see around the Atlanta area, we have a lot of different, a lot of different uh, geo ad groups that are pulling in 
little fishing nets pulling in leads. So if we go into keywords, we'll see here a majority of the keywords are exact and phrase match. That's all we're running in these campaigns, exact and phrase match. And they're all very basic. Pick up junk, junk removal Atlanta, junk removal, junk removal near me. So not a complicated campaign, guys. It's uh, pretty simple, and we have dozens of these campaigns. So they work in any market. As long as you're around an area that actually has a good population size, it's not in the middle, you know, small town in Texas that there's 50 people live there. Obviously, that can be problematic. Um, but if you're in a decently populated area, anyone can run this. <clears throat> so if this is something that you're interested in and you have a junk removal business, we can clone this, swap your company information in, and deploy it into your location and turn it on. You'll get the results like this as well. All right, so if that's the case, there is a link in the description. Make sure you fill that out. And um, we can uh, assess your situation and see if it would make it be a fit to work together. Besides that, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to do this yourself, you want to run Google Ads yourself, that's totally fine too. We have links in the description where you can um, learn from us. And we have a bunch of training courses and training videos so you can do it yourself. All right, guys. See you in tomorrow.